Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I got a lot of really exciting footage to share with you guys. Uh, this past week I've been playing the Swedish Tennis League. It's uh, like a national league in Sweden between all the best clubs. The format is that's five teams in two different groups, so a total of 10 teams. And from each group, the two winners of the group or the two highest placed teams in the group are going to move on to the playoffs where four teams play against each other, so it'll be the semifinals and the finals. What's kind of cool about this series too is that it's a really hectic format. Uh, we actually play every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So the four matches of the group stages are played like yeah four days in a row. And if we make it to the playoffs, we have Friday off, or Friday is going to be more of a travel day. And then the semifinals and the finals are Saturday, Sundays. Every match is played with uh, one doubles match and then three singles matches. So it starts off, it's like two rounds of matches. So it starts off with the doubles match and the number three singles. And after that, the one and two singles play. So to kick off this episode or this series, uh, we're going to begin with the first match. We'll play away against Solna Teco. So for the match against Solna, we had a match start of 5 p.m. So we wanted to get the body going a little earlier. So we ended up going to the club around like 11, 12 o'clock, had a little hit between 12 and 1. And for that hit, we just kind of go through all our shots a little bit, you know, ground strokes, volleys, especially a lot of serve and returns and just, yeah, make sure the body's ready, uh, ready to go. After that, uh, the whole team kind of came together around 3 o'clock and we all actually uh, traveled together uh, to Solnateco. So we arrived there at around 3.30. Uh, had a team warm up at 4 o'clock before the match and then they kicked off the match at 5 p.m. So with this format, you're only allowed to either play singles or doubles. And in my case, I was only going to play singles today. So for the first round of matches, I was taking more of a coaching role and trying to help my friends uh, get the doubles point. Which of course uh, the frequently featured players on this channel, Jacob Amelon and Fred Simonson did in spectacular fashion, uh, taking the doubles point, 6-4, 6-4. So for the second round of matches, it was time for me to play my singles match. My opponent of today is another guy that I've actually played before and uh, shown the video on this channel in the stock movement pre -callies. Uh His name is Jonathan Morita. He currently sits at a ATP ranking of 597. He's been a career high of like uh, 450. See how this one goes, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so we kick off this match. I don't know if you can see it on this video, but yeah, the surface is very quick. So obviously it's very important, like serving indoor tennis, it's always so important, it's so crucial. I keep mentioning over and over again, but that's really what it comes down to in, in modern tennis, you know, serve and return. It's so many points, you know, that are yeah, first and second shots, that's that's where most matches are won or lost. So yeah, it's really fast surface here. You can see him really being aggressive with me, uh, especially on his forehand side, trying to play fast on me and yeah, really putting me under a lot of pressure straight away. And with a great serve, he seals the first game, 1-0. Yeah, the kind of idea here, you know, is to try to get a deep return. Usually you just kind of aim for the middle and try to get it deep and from there you just try to be aggressive and, and try to punch, punch the ball as good as you can. But yeah, good service game by me here where I get three free points on my serve. And now I'm just trying my best to put pressure on him here, uh, trying to scrape as much as I can in his service game. I feel like I do a good job here of putting the returns in play, I'm trying to get aggressive on him, especially trying to hurt him uh, on that back inside. But he does a good job of staying with it, and in the end, I end up missing a couple forehands there, and he gets a good hold to 2 1 in the first set. For my service game here, you see he hits me with a good bump return. I try to do a little too much with that forehand, but I mean, it's not, it doesn't come out of nowhere because I know if I don't do enough with it, he's gonna get aggressive on me straight away, like he did there puts a lot of pressure on me and I end up missing that forehand and yeah I'm down love 30 here as uh, so he has a lot of pressure on me do a great job there coming forward um, really stepping in on that first ball even though he gets it deep on me I'm just trying to get away from the strike zone and uh, yeah look to come in whenever I get the opportunity but you see here how big he can hit with his forehand if he gets time uh, to set it up there so that puts so much pressure on me when he hits a deep return I know I have to really 
to make sure to hit a heavy ball back. I can't just put it back in play because then he's really just going to jump on it uh, straight away. So obviously you see me here just really trying to keep the ball as much as I can on that back inside, but it is very tricky because uh, it does move around very well looking for that forehand, but I'm um, just keep putting a lot of pressure on that corner trying to find an opportunity to come forward, but yeah, he keeps very good depth there. And it's so important in this position, you know, uh, when you have an opportunity to maybe come forward, but it, he manages to neutralize it again. It's so important to kind of just get back to it and trying to do the best with the shot you're given. And uh, yeah, we managed to win that point. I think that was a break point against me actually, so it was a huge point there uh, to save that one for sure. See me there again, coming forward. Uh, as soon as I get a short ball, you know, really trying to hurt him and put a lot of pressure on him. But finally, we get that hold. Very big hold, obviously, he had a lot of pressure on that. I think we saved about three or four break points there. So we see if we can keep the momentum going here and uh, try to put a lot of pressure on him. So love 30 start here, straight away. And yeah, you just see him just swinging that forehand when he gets the opportunity. And... Uh, just keep trying to get that deeper turn down the middle, get into the rally and try to find some opportunities to come forward. Like he really plays at a high pace, so it's so important to try to stay calm with it and not get stressed up. Had a good opportunity I, there, I felt it was a little sheep of a mistake uh, to miss that forehand down the line, but had a couple game points there, but I, I'm just keep scraping it, <laughs> scraping around with it, trying to stay in it as much as I can. So now we're presented with a, a break point here actually. Not sure if that serve was in, but we still managed to hit a great return, get into a great rally here. Really try, trying to find something, and he maybe overhits it a little bit, and we managed to get the first break of the match. But as I've said before, you know, it's not a break unless you hold. So I know he's gonna come back at me, really hungry to get that break back. But I think it's so important to see in these rallies how it goes from off to death. Like when someone is offensive, uh, but other guys still manage to counter punch and come up with a good shot to get back in the rally. It's so important to kind of respect that counter punch and not try to overhit or just have too much ego and feel like you need to be <laughs> aggressive or something like that because you were the previous point. We end up uh, doing a little costly double fault here at 30 all. So now he has a break point to get it back at me. And I get a good ball there, I come forward. But with that volley, like, I don't know if you saw with his movement, but it really put a lot of pressure on me. But just taking a few steps forward. So I kind of knew I needed to do a lot of things with that volley. And, uh, yeah, it kind of stressed me out a little bit. And I ended up overhitting it a little bit. And he got the break back. 2-3 all. So smart little drop shot there. I, obviously, I saw that he was standing very far back in the court. I feel like it was a good choice to go for that drop shot. And, uh, yeah, it worked out. See, we're off to a really good start here, uh, putting a lot of pressure on him uh, in his service game again. And we managed to actually get a break to love. I feel like we did a very good job there of being aggressive and, and really just stayed with it. Even though we just got broken, we still kept committing to the game plan. And uh, yeah, worked out pretty well. So I don't know if you can see it here, but I really felt like the pace of the match kind of increased a little bit uh, from this point forward. I felt like he was really starting to be very aggressive on me. Uh, he was trying to play a little faster, and it's tricky, like, because it's so easy when he plays uh, this quick, as it does here with these big forehands, like, it's so easy to get very stressed out about it and maybe try to overhit or be a little too passive. So it's so important here to just kind of try to stay calm as much as you can. Try to not panic when it, when it comes at you so fast, and just trying to do what you can, try to put a lot of weight on the ball, trying to stay in it, and just keep questioning him to come up with these good shots because if he beats you like that it's just you know it's too good but what I see a lot of people always doing you know is, is maybe you try to I don't know you have so much ego that you want to show him that you can hit a big two or you can do that and it's very easy to kind of go out from your your comfort zone if you want to call it that and that's when I feel like you kind of get into to his game and that's where tricky he you know to beat your opponent in their arena it's obviously a very good very good hold by him there. I think he had three winners. So obviously he has great momentum going into uh, to the next game. So I'm trying to try my best here to serve it out at 5-4. So I mean, I really think the level of tennis here is, is very high. Like I feel like I'm hitting some very good deep shots, but still he's just staying with it, just punching away and really working me side to side. 
I feel like I'm doing everything I can to try to put pressure on him, trying to get the balls deep uh, in order for him not to be able to, to punch it at me again. But he keeps doing a great job. But luckily, I get some good serves in there to try to keep me in it with a couple good points. Because um, I feel like now when the rallies are going, he's actually been very, uh, very hurtful <laughs> throughout the points, you know, with these very heavy returns. So I think we're at 30 all now here. 5-4 is obviously a very huge point here uh, coming up. So you see him really stepping into the ball there, doing a great job. Hitting me with that heavy form, but I still managed to get it back deep. Really trying to turn things around here, trying to get back aggressive at him. But you see, I, I really feel like I can't hit the ball any deeper than that, but he still managed to get it back with so much weight and so much power uh, that it's really tricky. And you see him there hitting me with some deep balls. I'm hitting you know, him with some deep balls, but he still managed to come forward. Get into some slices, try to change up the tempo, but both of us are really just staying with it. I don't really know how I managed to get that angle, but I did a good job there coming forward. I really kind of panicked about that. The let shot, gonna dump in, but yeah, great rally. So we finally get the set point here. A really nice play there with the serve and volley. Really managed to get the angle on the serve, which really opened up the court, and we managed to get the first set, a 6 4. So to kick out the second set here, I start off with a nice little shank forehand. And you obviously see uh, he pounces on it straight away. But it's so important to here, even though he's up there to love, that I'm still trying to, you know, stay in it. All these points are so important, uh, to, just to show that you're constantly going to be there. Kind of disappointed with, with missing that slice. I really feel like that's not a shot that I should uh, or can miss uh, at this stage. But yeah, great service game by him, 1-0. And uh, yeah, I know it's a lot of pressure here, so it's really important for me to just keep staying with it trying to get aggressive on it and uh, just keep committing it and trusting the game plan and all these balls that are so deep so heavy it's just so important to just stay low in the legs trying to be sneaky but I mean such a good shot by him they're really committing to it no pressure at all in his back and even though I felt like I came forward on a little nasty slice there we finally do manage to get the hold through a couple of errors by him there so we're back to one all in the first set so I mean it's so important there, even though he had uh, maybe a game there where he ended up doing a couple errors, but I keep staying with it, managed to come up with a great counter punch there as it came forward. But I started to notice that he, he started to begin here, uh, serving a little more a wide serves to open up the court, and then he does a great job there of you know hurting me with a forehand behind me or to the other corner. You know, I see your great serves out wide, really trying to open up the court on me. Organi with a the T-Star there, great return by me. But it's tricky here because I feel like I'm not really hurting him too much. I really have to get the ball so deep in order to, for him to actually come up with errors. But it's so important here to just keep staying with it. Even though he hits me with his great serves, it's so important to just keep trying to show the pressure or show the fact that you have to come up with these good shots in order to beat me because I'm going to be here. I'm going to be around there. So very important here in this game, especially in the start, to kind of show that you still have the confidence for yourself, uh, but obviously for the opponent as well. So I really like the way that I'm I'm getting aggressive on these forehands to begin the point, and I finish off the point with a great down the line back in there. Doing good good job here, making a lot of first serves. Um, obviously that's huge here, because I feel like in these rallies, both of us are playing so well, so most of the rallies are almost like 50-50. So, yeah, great hold there by me, and uh, yeah. Now we're just back to scraping and trying to put a lot of pressure on him serving. Yeah, good return there. Just trying to get it deep. And obviously, as soon as I get an opportunity to come forward, but the same thing happened there again. I don't know if you see it, but he charges forward so quickly as soon as he sees that I'm going to get the volley below the net tape. Just try to hit it too hard, too deep, uh, which is a very tough shot to hit there. I'm really trying to, to counter punch, great counter punch there, and then just trying to get aggressive once I get an opportunity. Trying to put a lot of pressure on him, but he tr over hits a little bit there, and uh, yeah, we just keeps trying to stay with it. Just keep trying to get those deep returns to get into neutral rallies and see if we can figure something out. But it is very tricky as he's hitting the ball so balanced and so heavy. So we're trying our best to counter punch, but he does such a good job there, as I mentioned before, about like 
respecting your opponent's counter punches or, or getting the ball back to neutral so you're not trying to be over aggressive uh, over and over and over again you have to be aggressive on the right shots on the right balls and Jana does it very well here and gets the hold to 3-2 in the second set it's a great return by Jana there to kick it off I maybe tried a little too much with that or kind of just panicked on the slice but then I get back to it really good point here coming forward and uh, managed to put away that volley very well so 15 all here it's a good solid return by him there and then it really gets me with that, that line backhand but I feel like I do a good job of getting back in the point after that one uh, really just trying to stay with it but then he ends up overhitting that backhand a little too much I mean, getting back trying to pressure that back in corner again uh, but yeah he really started swinging these backhand very freely but then luckily for me he just overhits that four and again but yeah I really noticed that he kind of upped the tempo a little bit on that backhand side again and it's very tricky you know when he's stepping in on both the forehand and the backhand side uh, as well as he's doing so deuce point here and I really managed to scrape that one out to get that ball in, like great return by him on that wide serve. I really thought he was gonna have to chip it back. You really see him just stepping in on the ball right now. And I think he just managed to miss that ball wide. And it's a big hold for us. I really feel like I had to scrape, scrape a lot to get that, that hold down there. So now we're back to returning and obviously he's going to get the, the first punch on most points as he's the, the initiator with the serve. And here, you know, like with him up in the pace a little bit, it is tricky for me to to still stay calm on it and not get stressed out by it. So I'm really just trying to work the legs here and try to stay calm and, and put pressure back on him here. But yeah, he, he does a good job here with these wide serves. And I'm really happy with the fact I didn't think I was going to make the return. <laughs> But uh, just trying to get the returns deep, but I mean, you really see him just, even though I get a great return deep, he just puts it back deeper at me and then just starts swinging away at me. And I'm just, I don't know, just running around like a mad dog here. Uh, just really just, I kind of disappointed. I remember that, that chip back and I was very disappointed the fact that I couldn't get it over him because he, he was so close to the net after hitting that volley. Yeah, just keep trying to stay with this game as much as possible, We're trying to hope for him to maybe have a little dip, just trying to keep my level very consistent, trying to be aggressive there. So I think I have a break point here now at 3 all, took off to 4-3 in the second set. Yeah, maybe I get a little passive with these shots, I feel like I'm, I'm hitting them with a little more spin, and right away you see him just, just pounce on it there. So great ball by him to get it back to deuce. Just missing that that return. Uh, I think it was very close. Kind of a good hit, but the same thing. I maybe put a little too too much spin on it, or yeah, just a little too much height. And I think what I was a little disappointed with that was that I didn't feel like the referee called it out uh, before the player called it out, and um, then it just kind of felt like he I don't know affected a call or whatever. But the ball was the ball was out at the end of the day, so. Yeah, you really see him swinging away here, putting in a lot of pressure. I mean, I'm, I'm just trying my best to keep trying to make him hit one more ball, one more ball. But as long as he comes up with these good shots, it's just a little too good. But yeah, a little too cheap with that that last return. And uh, yeah, now we're going to have to work here to get another hold at 3-4 in a second. So really important for me here, trying to get aggressive on the ball again. I'm, I'm really feel like I need to get back to dictating the points more uh, obviously he was serving the last game so it was hard for me to to get aggressive on him there uh, but yeah here I'm really trying to to get aggressive on him back again especially when the back inside trying to look for these these fast exchanges but he does a great job of staying low you know and, and sticking with it and uh, really good backhand by him there inside out it was so hard for me to see if it was going to go cross or, or not there and we're back to deuce. It's so a good serve, but he still comes up with a very deep return. But I managed to hit a kind of nasty slice that kind of skidded a little bit, which makes him just push it out wide. So we have another add point here. 
but unfortunately we kind of throw in another double fault there and the rad deuce it's a great serve here and i really get an opportunity but i don't know i just had a little tiny bit of body weight uh, behind and that gives him the break point opportunity here it's a great hit on the four and they're coming forward but got a little shaky with that volley and uh, yeah just didn't do enough there and he really just kept pouncing on it and he managed to get the break at 5-3 kick it off he hits me with that combo again great serve out wide and then he just smacks it behind me really tough combo to do anything about and then same thing again there he hits me with a wide serve but i managed to come up with a good angle and put pressure on him again but i just over hit that four and as i mentioned I, like i found it so important to try to be aggressive on the ball again i, I couldn't get passive he's just too good like I'm, I'm never gonna beat him when he's missing so really good job of me they're just trying to be aggressive and that's really how i need to to play this match you know dictating the point and not letting him uh, push me around and, and obviously if it does that or he managed to counter punch it back at me over and over again that's just too good but great really good job of me there And yeah, just a great ball there, 30-15 to him. He counter-punched it really well at me, got it down low, and then had to just try to figure something out with it. It's obviously a huge point here at 30-all, and a really good four and three really solid points by me. They're really getting aggressive on it again. And we turned around to 30-40. But then unfortunately, kind of a tough call here. Obviously, at the end of the day, I mean, it probably goes both ways, uh, but it, this one obviously stung a little bit when I really felt like I had the momentum there uh, to get it back to a break point after three really solid points there. And I do think it's important to like, kind of like say your piece, but still understand that you probably don't always see the every ball perfect either. So as much as I think I saw it out, uh, they probably saw it in. So a great uh, response by me here. Great down the line back in there to set it up for another another break point again got a really heavy four inch by him there um, really tough for me to kind of get away from it and uh, he managed to save it with another huge point uh, really well played uh, by him there with a decent return we managed to set it up for another break point again but he saves it with a huge serve out wide great returning by me and really like coming forward on that forehand. But then unfortunately, I feel like I could have done a lot more with both that forehand and that volley, obviously. And, uh, but yeah, he gets a set point here in the second set. Great return by me there, really got it down to his feet. And yeah, then that's a great point there at Deuce and sets up for another set point. And the little weak form from me there uh, on the run, maybe tried a little too much there. I really felt like I needed to get away from the strike zone. And uh, with that, we got the second set. And yeah, for these league matches, we actually play, we don't play a full third set. We play a match tiebreak to 10 points. A good serve by me there to kick off the match tiebreak. Obviously with such a short format, returning and serving is huge. Um, a little too weak return by me there and really just pounces on it straight away with that down the line backhand. And then hits him with the, a really solid uh, wide serve and gets up to 2 1 in a match tiebreak. A good serve by me to set it up that I could try to move him around a little bit. Maybe got a little too excited with that forehand and, and just misses it. And uh, be a great return by him, but I still managed to stay my ground and put the pressure back on him. And then try to get him moving here as soon as I get the opportunity, especially on that backhand side. Trying to open up the court against him and manage to get the point. So we're up 3 2 here, and uh, with his serve, it's like before the change of sides, I'm really just so ready to just try and scrape and do everything I can to try to switch sides on a positive note. So I'm just really trying to scrape this point. He's coming forward very well here, and I just managed to pass him. I didn't mean to hit the, the I kind of like half shanked that passing shot, and I think that's part of the reason why he left it. But it ended up working pretty well for me and uh, we're up 4-2 now with a little mini break so good ball there i really like how it changed the pace there and then i s just straight away started pounce on it i feel like that could have been a good play but unfortunately i just hit that drop shot way too bad and well i mean he came up with a great passing shot there i still felt like i covered it a good amount but yeah good ball by him
important point there to get it up to 5-3 and then a really good slice at wide serve and I really like how I came forward and just finished that point off. So now we're up 6-3 here in the breaker. Uh, really important to just keep trying to stay on it, trying to, to scrape out these points uh, receiving. Came, coming forward here but I really managed to come up with a great lob there really getting over him and uh, he hustled really well but just misses that one and we managed to get another little, little minute break and still here just trying to put so much pressure on him I know the marginals are so slim here and he could so quickly turn around and, and get back I know the match can just change at any point in time so I'm just really trying to take every chance every opportunity I get here to try to get ahead but unfortunately just missed that one a little too deep and uh, we still got the 7-4 here trying to take our time on the serve and trying to stay aggressive and really use that opportunity and a really good job of me they're coming forward and putting that volley away uh, i really like the way i built up that point and uh, now we're up 8-4 in change events so same thing here we're just trying to stay aggressive on him trying to put a lot of pressure obviously we have a lot of scoreboard pressure and uh, maybe just managed to get him a little off balance there and uh, we now have five match point and nine four. Just misses that four and out wide. I feel like maybe he got a little rushed with those, but I'm still very happy with the, the match and, and how I managed to just stay against it. I thought it was a very high level match, and uh, yeah, I was very happy with my performance on this one. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed the match, I mean it was a very tough match, I'm very happy to get away with a win and, and of course as the team we managed to get a draw there, I think it was a good result considering that they were uh, they are the defending champions and been to the final the past two years so obviously they're very hot contender for the title uh, again this year and a draw for us is a great start especially on a away match so I think we as a team are, are pretty happy with that result but, uh, but yeah now it's just back home we got to try to recharge the batteries as much as we can but yeah it's back at it again tomorrow with another team match where we take on uh, where we take on Mallard Hidden Tennis Club at home so that's going to be a lot uh, it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be really exciting I'm going to try to cut that video together as soon as possible so make sure you uh, like the video if you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more or make sure you don't miss out on any of the upcoming videos uh, from this series I promise you it's going to be a lot of fun and I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I am Take care guys and I'll see you soon.